happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. They called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Victoria? Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Tortured, right? But I like it old school. Frankly, it's bullshit. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could I do, do that. love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty? I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. 
Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? Was done by Robert I can hear the class laughing at me now. You can find out all about him in your My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. Online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the... Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Your work. I just really think every day here. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out there. Kate, I, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe. Of course, Victoria has to have. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. 
He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. Man, he even has the best plasma HGTV for a Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying on you. Always Welcome to the cute. real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special Anyone picture of Channing Flagg. They're just getting you ready Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. What's the point he plays it so <laughs> shy. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. American Andy, you look totally fabulous, as to usual. Imagine a world without you. I hate having everybody American see inside my locker. I'd like to be part of the world around Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to block me. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. They must make... I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. To all of you, I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. No Andy's a Vortex Club lives. member. Poor Daniel, American he's so nice. Like I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. With shiny smiles and plastic it looks like she's been gone for months. I wish I had. Don't need a PC. Miss the poetry jam track. That's so messed up. I should contact them. I wonder what actually happened to her. Good thing I left my AK at home. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome. If you can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro, but he's actually not an app. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written on. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. Black Wolf sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those big foots. They... You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on... God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kinda like that about him. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> I
I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. I'm good to flow, thanks. This poster must drive people to have sex. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Now who would bother to write that crap? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, oh, shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arbus? I did it. Can you give me I an actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. machine. Anybody? Bueller. Max, don't Diane. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Why Arbus? 
If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Because of her Keep it together, of Max. Spaces. You feel like totally what is going on? Nothing has moved. When I took my selfie, Jefferson. Saw Damn it! Torture, everything right? is the same. And frankly, it's bullshit. Still the same stupid Keep picture. My Seriously, pencil case though, is still in I the same place. One of you in a dark corner. Wow, sir, my old broken camera is new again. And any one of you could do that to me. <sighs> Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people? Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Portrait has been popular I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl selfie. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me what after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation... The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I just really think everyday heroes is an important I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. No matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson... Photography's future stars avoid handing in... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that 
Life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. You can't help me at all, Logan. You remember that it's pain? Daniel is getting bullied all over again. I hope he doesn't remember. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! I need a hammer to break it open! Of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Nobody would ever... Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion Later, in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? You look a little stressed out. I just got sick in class. Um, 
female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Hold on, Max. Come back here. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I just... Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Switch to E6. They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. Otter power? I'm so not there. And this is where the otters perform their aquatic magic. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. Now I have to go back to the dorm. This day never ends. So bizarro to be back here after five years. I thought I could just fit right back in at school. But with all this shit going on, I'm even more an outsider. And who can I confide in besides my journal and my camera? Man, these are supposed to be the best years of my life. This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once. Let me guess, you want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. 
Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want... I'd love to. This is neither. A weapon, right? A... Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. Brooke actually has a drone? I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit nerdy, though. There's Hayden in his Vortex Club. Hey, Hayden. There she is, the retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club, anyway? seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high-security penitentiary. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. 
Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. Daniel is always drawing some. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait, Oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Uh, she had a good heart. Okay. Why don't you start drawing me, even though I must be a step down from Rachel? No way! You're a good substitute, Muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good. Good. Best portrait ever. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Oh yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh... Jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple no slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Yo, Justin. Check out. I came to no slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tray flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? I'd love to see a nose slide. 
Let's get Trevor all over that action. You never really escape Betty. I used to be, but I'm into my camera now. I can tell. We need more girls out here. Rachel Amber and her punk friend used to skate with us. Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Tats, blue hair, hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. <laughs> Ran away. You knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes. One day she just vanished. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. If anybody hurt her, we'll get a skate posse and take them out with our boards. You ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. What was she like? She was like Mercurial. You know what that means. Of course I do, you snob. I know, I can be a little diva. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Sorry. I have to get back to my portfolio. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. <laughs> 